Hello again folks, it's Mel and finally back with another video for you after about three weeks I think. Sorry about that, but other things to do and looking after Linda. Uh, so I brought the Kramer Pacer out to show you. I said I'd let you have a listen at it. So this guitar, I've had it about a month now, not really played around with it too much. This is the first time I've put it through an amplifier. So I've got it going into my Marshall DSL 401 and I'm also using my uh, Boss ME50. I'll just let you have a quick listen at the guitar. So I'm on the clean channel of the Marshall at the minute. This is the neck pickup. actually got the tone all the way off there I'll turn it all the way up tones quite usable on this guitar I'll just put it all the way up so that's the neck pickup both pickups Bridge pickup. Now they're quite hot these pickups as well, so I've, I've got no effects on the ME50 at the minute and I'm in the clean channel of the Marshall. I haven't got a lot of gain on the Marshall, but if I take the volumes on this guitar all the way up, this is the neck pickup. Both pickups. And the bridge pickup. So they've got a bit of pull to them, these pickups. Uh, if I put the crunch channel on the Marshall on, again, I've still got nothing on the boss. Both pickups. And now, if I put, I've just got a blues driver on this ME50. that off again put the lead channel on the Marshall
there's quite a range of tones available if you put it in the middle position between the two pickups so yeah it's decent guitar stays in tune reasonably well <laughs> That is now, so I did have a few issues on this guitar that I will uh, tell you about now. So when I first took the guitar out of the box, I just had a quick strum on it acoustically. It was obviously miles out of tune. The, the strings were floppy. It's to be expected they probably slackened those off for shipping. Uh, but when I tuned it up to E standard it pulled all the bridge out of whack so the bridge wasn't nice and level as it is now it was uh, it was a mile out so I thought well maybe it wasn't tuned to E standard maybe it was tuned to E flat so I tuned it to E flat and the bridge was still a mile out Strings were up and down, some were up there, some were down here, all the way along. So basically, the setup on this guitar was non-existent. I got this from PMT online. Don't know what that stands for. Probably premenstrual tension or something like that. Because I think whoever set the guitar up may have been suffering from PMT. Uh, it was really bad. Now initially I did lightly run my hands up and down the neck and I said the frets felt okay. When I actually came to play the guitar there were some really nasty sharp fret ends. So I had to get the dressing file out, take those down. Frets were all nice and level other than the 13th fret. It had one high fret. 13th fret was high so I filed that down and recrowned it. We've also we've got a bit of what looks like paint over spray on the bottom of the headstock. I don't know if the camera will pick that up just there. Looks like blue paint. Not a big air, but this I, I think this was a B-stock guitar, that's why it was clearance. Maybe that's PMT's version of B-stock, is their clearance section. So just be aware of that. If you do buy anything on clearance from PMT, you're probably going to have a little bit of work to do. Once I've set the guitar up, I've put some new strings on it. That was something else. Bizarrely, the strings, I don't know what they were meant to be. They should be 9 to 42s on this style of guitar. The E string was 10 when I measured it with my digital caliper. The B string was 10.5, so almost the same string. The third string was 33.033, which is miles out. At that point, I stopped measuring them. I just ripped them off, put a new set of nines on, rebalanced the bridge, set the pickups to the right height, which they weren't, uh, set the strings to the right height and radius, which they weren't. And I've got to say, the guitar plays fantastic now. It's really nice to play. It's got a sort of 12-inch Gibson-style radius to it. Uh, another problem I had was there's two Allen keys on the back there. There was only one when the guitar arrived. The smaller one was missing, so I've added that. And also it didn't come with an Allen key for the truss rod adjustment. So I've had to use my own Allen key to adjust the truss rod on the guitar. Again, not a problem for me, but if a, a beginner had bought this guitar with no tools, well, they probably wouldn't be adjusting their own truss rod anyway, to be fair. 
but yeah they, they, they were one or two issues and I have checked the boxes both boxes over and over again to look for these missing Allen keys and they're not there so the guitar came supplied with just one Allen key and one final problem I had was the third string was popping out of the saddle here which is the most annoying thing that can happen on these Floyd Rose type bridges uh, but I seem to have cured that just by tightening it up more but you shouldn't need to over tighten these screws on the bike that push that block forward to hold that string in but it seems to be behaving itself now but when I first got the guitar that, that had popped out two or three times on the, that third string but it seems seems okay now in fact I have no qualms now about taking this guitar out on a gig so there were one or two issues with it but all in all I can't grumble it was £199 now the actual price of this guitar is £349 if you buy a brand new one not out of the clearance sale uh, at least that's the price on PMT at the minute so yeah it's a decent guitar I would just say for £349 you, you get a really nice Harley Benton Fusion style guitar that would probably beat this I don't know uh, but it is it's a nice looking guitar it plays nice it sounds okay not totally flawed by the clean sounds on it but put some distortion on it and let's let's be real if you're playing something with a Floyd Rose on you're going to be playing with distortion on and uh, the pickups sound pretty good with some distortion on especially that bridge pickup they're quite powerful they're all Nico 5 these pickups and they sound okay they look cheap and there's no adjustable pole pieces on them they're just all flat slugs but they sound fine they sound okay so yeah just a quick one for you I said I'd let you have a listen at this guitar uh, and there it is that's the Kramer Pacer so there she is so that's all from me for this week I will try and get a couple of videos up for you over the next couple of weeks as ever I can't promise that but uh, anyway please remember like subscribe to the channel that will help me out and uh, until next time look after yourselves and I'll be back when I can bye for now